Last night, two of our brightest young stars were tragically murdered. The sun, which is closest to us here on Earth, was killed by a black hole that completely sucked it up. You're dead yet, you just don't know it. The sun began about 4.57 billion years ago from a molecular cloud that most likely formed many other stars, but they eventually died out. Eventually, uh, all the atoms pressed tight enough together to ignite fusion in our sun and created life on Earth. We figured out its age based on computer models and carbon dating of very ancient asteroids matching together. Our sun is a typical G2V yellow dwarf, and it accounts for 99.86% of the mass of our solar system. In the future, uh, right before its death, the sun turned into a red giant. It expanded and engulfed Earth, and you died again, you just really didn't know it. And it used all of its fuel and became a planetary nebula and then shrank into a white, white dwarf, ending its existence as a G2V. The other young star killed was Betelgeuse. Now this was a very fast-living, hip star, at only 10 million years of age, very young, very young. It was a very large OB1 star, which means it was popular, I guess. And it was considered a very fast-moving runaway star. It was killed by a pulsar, shooting beams of gamma rays at it. Uh, it was part of the constellation Orion as seen from Earth, and it was the first star other than our sun to have its angular momentum measured. Uh, after the pulsar hit it, it blew up by means of a type 2 supernova, and we'll be able to view that on Earth within the next million years. Very tragic day in our solar system.